Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. Today I'm going to be covering a mod for a Total War Saga Troy called Agony. And uh, I'm doing this because for the last few weeks I've been covering a lot of mods for games like Rome 2 or Attila, which are massive, very popular mods, don't get me wrong. But I wanted to take a step back for a second and have a look at the other mods available for games like Thrones of Britannia, which I covered Shield Wall for on Monday, or today for example, Agony for Troy, and who knows, I might be covering other mods for uh, Rome Remastered or Empire or Medieval 2 in the near future. But this is kind of the start of kind of branching out and having a look at other mods for other games, right? So today I'm going to be looking at Agony. Uh, it's a mod that's just been released on the Steam Workshop and it does some absolutely fantastic work for Troy. It's being developed by the guy who developed the gem visual overhauls with reshade and, and, and things like that. So if you're familiar with all those kind of uh, visual enhancement uh, mods for other games, then you'll be right at home here because that's part of the uh, mod here as well but it's not just a visual overhaul for troy it does a lot more and it does it really really well guys which is why i want to spotlight it today um i've spotlighted other mods for troy as well including agamemnon's ambitions developed by cam 2150 who by the way is the main modder one of the main modders for divide and impera for rome 2 so massive massive kudos there for working on troy and also a mod that's currently in development called aegean mythos which uh it's it's not ready yet but when it is ready it will be converting the mythological side of Troy into an age of mythology type total war. So expanding the god system, adding a lot more mythological units and, and rebalancing and unit rosters, things like that. It looks absolutely amazing. There's a video for both of those mods. So definitely check that out. But today I'm going to be talking about Agony because it does some absolutely fantastic things. So Agony has been posted pretty recently, actually, uh, 22nd of September. It's being updated almost daily by Ganosa, the, uh, the, the mod developer here. And some of the main things it does for the game, apart from kind of visually enhancing it, which looks brilliant, by the way. I mean, look at these. Uh, if you look at the visuals here in these pictures for what Ganosa is doing for the game, they look absolutely amazing. So lots being done visually, of course, but also from a gameplay mechanics perspective as well. So he's done a lot of work for the economy, overhauling things like building costs. Uh, unit upkeep, things like that. There's been an addition of lots of battle animations to the game from, from other games, as well as within Troy as well, just for other units. So really, really good stuff there as well. Uh, there's a forced march malice being added to the game, which basically means that if you are on a forced march state in your first turn, you don't have any negative effects, but for each additional turn, you start getting negative effects in that army. So things like, you know, forced march on the first turn is great, but in turn two, your area of, of movement is reduced because your army's tired, right? In like turn three, for example, your army becomes winded. So you get a lot more fatigue in your battles for the next couple turns if you're if you're in that four smart stance. So really, really good stuff there. There's a spy network been uh, added to uh, the game as well through this mod. So if I understand it correctly, it's essentially it gives you basically a kind of warning system for incoming threats. So if 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 you've got a spy, you know, if, if you've got a chance of like unseen armies in your lands or if you've got spies in your lands, there's basically a warning system now to tell you that 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 is happening within your faction's territory, which is really, really cool. Very interesting addition. There's been a lot of rebalancing from a battle perspective as well. And then, of course, there are some major, major additions. So. Uh, the first one, of course, is the Agony system. So what this does, it's so interesting. What this does basically is it's kind of like War Rariness, guys. If you, if you remember War Rariness for Age of Charlemagne and Attila, it's a bit like that, but the, the opposite of that. So the more battles you win, the more your war effort is, is positive. You know, you're winning battles, you're, you're winning the war. The more actually uh, you, you start getting really positive effects. Or your faction your armies etc so you start getting it's basically a kind of motivation system for being at war it's an incentive to keep up a uh, good good war efforts right but the, the more you keep peace or or the more you have your armies and owned territory you know the more uh, wars you don't get involved in, the more the indicator, the agony indicator, gets into a more negative side. So things get a bit more difficult to deal with. Obviously, you have a bit more negative effects in your faction compared to the positive that you might feel if you're just starting a war and you're winning your battles, you know? So there, it's a really interesting mechanic that's been added to the game, and it makes it makes your wars and your battles um, have a lot more context to them. You know, if you're, 
if you're winning a, a major battle against an army there's a little message that pops up that kind of says you know you've just kind of defeated this massive army they're kind of wounded now you can go in for the kill for example and that that adds a lot of boost to your agony system but of course you know there, there's the opposite effect of that if you're not in as many wars as you should be if you're losing battles etc and you're if you've got armies and they're not doing anything then that's going to lead to a more negative side effect for your faction so it's a very interesting mechanic here this is also quite nicely tied into a spoils of war system so basically things like building costs have been increased quite quite a bit i mean a lot uh unit recruitment and upkeep has been increased quite a bit as well and all these added costs are being balanced out by a mechanic called spoils of war which means every city every army now comes with a three-tier resource system that comes with either taking that city or defeating that army so you know if, if you're at war with a very rich faction for example and they have loads of resources and you take a city from them it's more probable that that city has a lot of of resources that you can spoil you know that, that you can take for yourself and that is a kind of spoils of war mechanic so when you take a city now or you defeat an army you can now essentially take a lot of interesting resources from from that battle and use it to increase the kind of tiers of your buildings you know build more buildings or, or get a new army it's basically a system that again incentivizes you to go into war because it feeds in from a resource perspective into your faction to keep to keep growing if you know what i mean so it's a very very interesting mechanic and it plays well you know both this and the agony system uh they both play really really well and they're fantastic additions to the game like i've been playing a few campaigns and honestly, I'm enjoying Troy a lot more with this mod, so I, I can't recommend it enough. And then finally, there are a few other changes from a regional recruitment point of view and an AI point of view. So the AI in the campaign map has been made a bit more, uh, like a bit less spammy, I guess. So uh, AI armies aren't going to be moving across the sea to try and attack you with like three stacks out of nowhere. If you're at war with, a, with, the, with the AI, then they're not just going to like divert attention away from their regional wars and and send a, a stupid stack uh in your direction if you know what i mean that kind of army spamming which is a really good thing i think not just from that kind of minor point of view but just generally the mod does a lot of work to make diplomacy a bit more authentic and uh engaging uh there's a lot less kind of diplomacy um resource spams as well which is really nice to see um just generally uh i think the the ai definitely feels a bit more responsive proactive and just a bit more engaging compared to vanilla so there's been a lot of work there as well and then of course we've got regional recruitment is which is very very interesting so what this means is wherever you are basically there there are a few provinces a few settlements here and there that when you capture you'll be able to uh essentially recruit certain units in those regions it's basically an aor uh, mechanic for Troy uh, area of recruitment so if for example you're in Mycenae or Pythia or Troy you'll have access to some uh, interesting unique units that you you normally as a faction would get access to and that's essentially it for today guys agony is a fantastic mod for troy that i cannot recommend enough it's why i'm spotlighting it today because some of the things it does some of the gameplay changes and the added mechanics really do make troy enjoyable to play big big kudos to ganosa for making it i'm very very impressed by it and i've added a link to the mod in the video description below as well so you can go in there and check it out for yourself guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below subscribe for more total war content gameplay and news and thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time